In this channel, special emphasis is given to the role of carbon agroforests and smart grid safe havens in the action plan, which we humans need in order to solve all our challenges. Initially carbon agroforests, and later possibly also carbon forests, are the most essential elements of the overall solution, because they are natural daylight or sun, renewable, powered and because of their unique capability and efficiency to selectively absorb carbon out of the atmosphere, CDR, and consequently sequester this carbon, renewable, in a wide variety of renewable, organic and pure resources that fulfill and replace, with renewable alternatives, all our actual needs of resources, including oil, petroleum, gases, etc. Contrary to carbon agroforests, solar, wind, nuclear and fusion energy, not even with grid-scale batteries, cannot fully fulfill or replace the above needs of resources. Further these renewable carbon forests will provide 1. Healthy, natural and organic food for humans and animals. 2. Fuels, including for heating, generation of electricity and 3. Basic materials for renewables, including batteries, grid-scale batteries, EV cars and hybrid cars, capacitors, electricity cables, pharmaceuticals, fertilizers, pesticides, clothing, and much more. Again, solar, wind, nuclear and fusion energy, even with grid-scale batteries, will not provide what is needed for renewables to fully fulfill or replace the non-renewables. Therefore, carbon forests are essential in, or rather the core of, the overall action plan to solve all challenges. In order to achieve its objectives, such an action plan also must at best be able to overbridge and or compensate for all the divisions between humans and for the peak cheap oil and peak oil, which are clear, but by many unnoticed, challenges. For the above reason and apart from carbon agroforests, smart grid safe havens like the PDB safe haven, play yet another and also decisive role in the overall action plan as a model and center, because they, like PDB safe haven, should grow, research as well as promote carbon agroforests. For the above and other reasons that are demonstrated in this channel, Investing in PDB is a unique opportunity to guarantee quality of life, securities, and passive income for you and those you care for. A more day-to-day -day reason to invest and live in a smart grid safe haven like PDB is the extreme and all circumstances energy security combined with a potential passive income such a safe haven offers. In other words, in a smart grid safe haven extreme security does not cost, but pays off. A potential but seemingly remote reason to invest in and live in a safe haven like PDB safe haven may be that when individuals remain in a radiologically contaminated area, such contamination leads to immediate external radiation exposure as well as possible later internal risk from inhalation and ingestion of radio contaminants, and that. 1. The PDB and even the Hadley Atmospheric Cell, where PDB safe haven is located in, are unlikely targets, and. 2. That the PDB safe haven is in a location that is expected to naturally be cleared out faster, and more definitively, following contamination than any other location in the world. The latter is illustrated in other videos that use and provide citation of NASA research and NASA models. Carbon agroforests are part of a global action plan and 1. Ideally are located in more than one country. 2. Ideally receive delivery and input of organic materials, to increase CDR and soil fertility, like hygienized and odorless compost, as well as demand and certification of products from other countries, which makes that ideally an international research center as well as the communication and promotion of such global action plan should be hosted. 1. In one of these mentioned countries and 2. In a smart grid safe haven. All this adds up and makes that the ideal situation is fulfilled in the case of PDB safe haven. No one, and not even activists. 1 seem to be aware of or emphasize enough the absolutely essential role of the above-mentioned action plan to solve all challenges, and 2. seem to be aware of or emphasize enough the value or need of incorporation and positive feedback of the combination of carbon agroforests and smart grid safe havens like PDB safe haven in the above-mentioned global action plan to solve all challenges. Reducing carbon dioxide emissions, even together with CDR, is not a complete or proper, nor a well-supported, action plan and it will also not provide the needs we have nor the safe havens we humans and biodiversity need. Without a proper and well-supported action plan and also without sufficient safe havens it cannot be expected that. 1. All our challenges will be solved in time. 2. We will be able to get out of the perfect storm. 3. That we clean up or regenerate all the disruptions we caused on this planet. We argue that we humans were aware of future challenges at least since the time of the height of the Club of Rome still in the former century. Nevertheless even today, many decades later, 
we still are without a proper and well-supported action plan, and also without sufficient safe havens and we think consensus right now and for many years is that our challenges and threats kept on growing, in intensity as well as in sheer number, ever since we became first aware. Can we consider ourselves the fittest of all species, or even truly human, if we are unable to achieve not even one of all objectives mentioned above? Whatever we think of ourselves or whatever we call ourselves, as long as we are unable to achieve the above objectives through an action plan, we will end up proving not to be adaptable to, not even to our own, change and certainly not truly fit and prepared for the future.